Hi, my name is Dave Cornett. Thank you for viewing my video on uh, augmented reality. Um, this all started off really with a little bit of an experiment on using um, an iPhone and apps that are, are available to create um, an interactive augmented reality model uh, of some of our projects. Uh, we found an application called Daiquiri, which is, uh, which is a free app. Uh, and we've been playing with that, so I thought we'd like to show you some of uh, our results. So, first of all, we start off with the Daiquiri app. Uh, it's created a QR code, which then uh, enables the user um, to scan the QR code in, which brings up a nice little menu um, of various bits. And as you can see, it's got my contact details on links to our website um, and also a 3D model of the property so at this point we clicked on the 3D model of the property um, and as you can see it uses the QR code as a trigger for the, the base of the model uh, this has been exported with textures uh, from our CAD package which is MicroStation um, and the model currently on the screen is a uh, a luxury house in Liverpool which exports around about 3,000 facets uh, and works quite well. After this we decided uh, what we should try and do is a slightly larger model so this one um, shows an example of um, an existing historic building which has a contemporary extension to the rear which houses 13 apartments um, and this one is about um, I think this, this one's about 15,000 facets um, which works quite smoothly and effectively. We then moved on to uh, a bigger project and this one is a 9 million pound uh, apartment block, 61 apartments is, is on this scheme. Uh, this is quite a big model um, in all, there's about 80,000 uh, facets on this one um, and as you can see uh, it does work reasonably well with my iPhone 4. So hopefully uh, that's give you an insight into uh, how we've been playing around with this augmented reality. Um, and if you've got any further questions, just drop us a line or a tweet. We're at Snow Architects and our website is snowarchitects.co.uk.